What's up, friends and Funketeers the Lack? Uh, today, I want to talk about what the purpose of my uh, YouTube uh, channel is. Um, what my goals are and what, what exactly uh, am I wanting. My goals is to give back. I've been playing music since, um, I'm going to say 1980, 81. So you do the math. And um, I've been uh, been playing music now, and I've learned everything that I know from the streets. I don't know how to read or write music. I don't know all the, the perfect lingo. Uh, but I've never had a problem with that. I've always been able to uh, play live and play with people uh, from the likes of Peter Thunderfingers Rock to Julius Bill, which is probably one of the most coldest bass players I ever played with, uh, to uh, in the Lawton area. I am uh, used to live in Lawton, Oklahoma, and, I, you know, and that's where I met uh, Heard in his alter ego, aka Jimmy Sly, um, another cold bass player. Uh, I've also been, you know, I had the privilege to work with uh, singers and rappers, and, and all of them gave me something and only asked for my expertise and my advice in return. So at this point in my life, I want to give back. To uh, people whom I don't know, or the young and up and coming people who could benefit from this. Who am I? I'm I'm Dr. Jam. Um, I hail from North Little Rock, Arkansas, the the mean street of Dixie, <laughs> and. Um, From there, I've traveled around the world twice. I was in the Navy. Um, I went to high school, though, in uh, Lawton, Oklahoma. I don't know a lot of people never even heard of Oklahoma, let alone Lawton. It's a big military base there, Fort Seal. And that's where my dad retired in. So I spent my teenage years, my formidable years, as they call it, um, in Lawton. My plans is to show what funk is all about. You know, I hear about the new king of funk. I'm not gonna mention any names. Who's definitely not that. And what, it's unbelievable that the kings of funk don't come forward and say, "Hey, that's some bull crap. That guy's not even funk. It's disco." So I'm gonna try and keep funk alive before it gets totally diluted and turned over to the wrong hands. I'm going to try and do my best. I'm not saying that I know all about the funk because funk is a feeling. Funk is not something that you can put and write down on cards and say, hey, you play this note, this note, this note, you use funk. Funk is not that. Funk is, like I believe either George Clinton said, it's, it's making something out of nothing. Either him or Boosie Collins, but either way it go, that's correct. It's making something out of nothing. You use what you have. If you have a rubber band, you find a way to pluck it to make it go along with the song. If you have an old tennis shoe, you you you, you clap it together to make it go along with the song. That's funk. Funk is literally what it sounds like. You get sounds together and instruments together. Back in the day, you know, didn't have a lot of money, so you got to play with a guitar that only had four strings on the doggone thing. And you make the thumb of a gun work. That's funk. That's what funk is all about. So my plans is to convey that essence to a new generation of people.
my heroes uh, cameo Larry Blackman uh, Earth Wind and Fire Maurice White uh, I can go on and on with that uh, I, I like funk I also like jazz so Grover Washington Jr things of that nature and so I've always tried to combine the two together I tried to combine jazz and funk at one point in time I called it junk and uh, you know a, a few friends of mine didn't think that was such a good name I liked it I called it junk you know but so my funk is a little bit funk with a little touch of jazz thrown on the top of it you know and that's always done it for me. And I think everybody needs to have their own flavor. I don't want to be Lucy. I don't want to be George Clinton. I don't want to be any, I want to be me. I don't want to be Grover Washington Jr. But they have inspired me to, to, to lay down musical tracks. And if I could just convey that and, and give back that that they gave to me, it will keep funk alive. Uh, you you can contact me at um, it used to be Dr. Jam at hotmail.com. I, uh, that's been my address, for, uh, my email address forever, and I still have it. But times has changed, and uh, I'm trying to reach a new generation of people. And I was told that Hotmail is out, so now I can be reached at. I love to float on water. All one word at gmail.com and I got that name because me and my wife who uh, recently passed away in uh, a traffic accident she had been trying to get me to get back into music for about 10 years because I completely had quit music when I got with her and uh, decided to hey you know it's time to let bygones be bygones and let the fantasy go, let the dream go I've had my fun uh, time to raise a family and that's that's what I was doing and after about 10 years of doing that she said you, you need to get on my nerves you need to get back into music because you have totally that's all that you talk about and yet you don't want to do it so uh, she tried for 10 years at that point to get me to get back in and I kept saying I would but uh, uh, we were we had bought us a a 37 foot sailboat and uh, we also had bought motor boats and things of that nature and I decided hey man I kind of like you know selling and uh, so we created I love to float on water Gmail and so that's been the G that's been our email ever since you know? so you can reach me at I love to float on water at gmail.com and uh, give me your feedback, give me your comments. Let me know what you think about what I'm saying or what I'm doing. And be, be warned, I'm right back. Musically, I've, I've, I've done so much music that um, it, it's not till recently when my wife passed. I made her uh, a CD in honor of her life. You know, and um, so I, I got back into music about a year ago when I, I decided to do a CD for her. You know, and uh, this is the CD. Uh, it is called Monty's Groove, and uh, you can listen to this CD at um, ReverbNation.com and just type in the Black Sun, uh, and you can hear the tracks that I wrote for her and uh, you can kind of get an idea of you know what my polished music sounds like. Uh, this series here is pretty much going to be just uh, uh, instructional video and we're going to do some polished songs but I'm more focused on getting this new generation on the right path. So. I would like to uh, to let it be known already that 
you can use any of this music however you want to use it. Most of the stuff I'm going to be doing is going to be cover tunes. That's why it's called Undercover Tunes. You don't get it. But we're going to do cover tunes from groups like Cameo, you know, uh, and we're going to make funk out of tunes like Rock Rockwell, Somebody's Watching Me, or well, Somebody's Watching Me, yeah, that's it. Uh, the Whispers, you know, keep, keep on loving, stuff like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these songs that I've written down and I'm going to put them in a paper sack. And uh, at the end, at the beginning of every video, we're going to have, have my son reach in this bag and we're going to pull out one of these songs. And some of them are going to be vocal lessons and some of them are going to be laying the track down. Some of them we're going to do uh, a video of them. And so I'm going to try to cover all grounds, but uh, that keeps it fun and inspirational. So we're going to take these songs, like I said, and we're going to uh, put them in, uh, in this paper sack. And I'm going to have my son at the beginning of every uh, episode, starting at um, episode 5. I'm going to try to have 16 episodes per season. So we're only up to number 5, and uh, <clears throat> eventually I'm going to make you pay for it. But for right now, you can watch it for free. Okay? But what we're going to do is, we're going to start out with about five or six songs. And put them in this paper sack right here. And it keeps it fresh. And I don't have to try and worry about or think about what I'm going to do for that, for that particular thing. And it's, it's a spontaneity type of thing, you know? So I don't have to be trying to plan out anything. I'm going to go with the fly. And as my son reach in there and pull out the paper, that's what we're going to do the video about. If it says musical video, then that's what we're going to do. If it says a vocal lesson, then that's what I'm going to do. If it says laying down tracks, then that's what I'm going to do. But in, 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 in order to get to this point, you have to make sure that you watch episode one through four. That's going to show you how to properly lay down the tracks, how to hook up the instruments to get the sound that, uh, that I'm shooting for. Because if you don't get your foundation right, if you don't get that sound right, then you're not going to be able to do this anyhow, okay? So, like I said, you can uh, contact me where I told you you can contact me at. You can uh, hear some of my music at Reverb Nation under the Black Sun. And um, you can look at, right now I'm leaning towards YouTube to put, the, put these videos out. And none of them is going to be over 15 minutes long because I'm not paying no money for anything. I'm not. And I don't expect you to pay a lot of money for anything. But uh, at one point in time, YouTube was free. Now you got to pay money to put something up longer than 15 minutes. And so I ain't with that. You know. But uh, I'm going to work with what I have to work with. And I'm going to use the instruments that I have to use to show you that. I'm not just going to talk about it, I'm going to be about it. I've got my keyboard, my DX7, it's got broken key on it. I've got a lot of issues with all my instruments, but you know what? They're mine, I've been having them for years. I still use them, and it's still funky. And when you hear them, you don't wonder, oh, I wonder if that's the new, whatever. You hear it, and hopefully you bob in your head like this, and saying, that's funky. So until next time, I am Dr. Jam.